country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Now kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. Bite your heels right in the ground and hang on. That's what these high heel boots are for. You'll soon get the hang of it, son. You gotta let these critters know who the boss is. Can I try it on Fury now? Sure you can, Joy. But you're taking on some job. He ain't no fence post. I'll get him. You watch. Come on now, Fury. Look what I got. <laughs> you gotta try the old guessing. You gotta make him jump right through the loop. you got is a loop full of air. Quit it now, Fury, and stand still. Come back here. <laughs> What's the matter with him now? Take a look over at the hills. No, Fury, no! Come back here! No use busting your lungs, Joey. He ain't thinking of you now. What do you mean he's not thinking of me? He's my pal. Sure he is, Joey. But right now, he's that white mare's bull. Bull? What's that? Bull is a sort of country word, meaning uh, boyfriend to sweetheart. You mean horses get mushy and moony about each other? Like dumb people do? Sure they do. But someday, you won't think it's so dumb. Where's Fury? Jim? He's out skylarking with that white mare you've been hankering to catch ever since we moved to this new range. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like Fury's gonna make it easy for us to bring her in. I'll saddle up. All right. Can I go too, Jim? <laughs> I was counting on that, Joey. You're the only one that Fury will listen to. She'll stick around if we can catch Fury first. That's your job, Joey. Thanks, Jim. you to help me. That's a fella. Here's a lump of sugar stick for you.
cowboy. You did a good job. Here he did, you mean. Come on. We'll put her in the corral next to Fury so they can talk to each other. Haven't they talked enough for one day? Yeah. They've been gabbing all the way down from the hill. Well, I gotta make her feel at home as soon as I can so I can start gentling her. Come on. Get going, Fury. Joey, now here's how it goes, see? First you start with a small loop, and you let it turn in your hand, see? Until finally you can, you can jump through it. Very neatly done, Jim. I didn't know you were a fancy roper. <laughs> An echo of my misspent youth. How are you, Helen? Hi, Miss Helen. Hello, Joey. Say, I've got some wonderful news for you. At least I hope you think so, too. It was for me. Richie, I know what it is. I don't have to transfer to that in a school. That's right. The board decided your new ranch is still in my district, so when school opens, Joey can be with his old friends again. Hey, that's great, isn't it, Joey? It sure is. All right, now look, you practice this spin yourself. And remember, it's all in the wrist. We'll see you later. for your company exclusive right now, son. Hasn't taken his eyes off her since we came home. You wouldn't be growing a pair of green eyes, would you? What's that? Oh, that's country talk for them that's a bit of a jealousy. Come on, let's get the chores done. You still mooning around? Gosh, will I be glad when Jim gets that mare gentle and sold off the place. Come on now. Be a pal. Let me practice roping on you. Oh, you won't, huh? I don't know what's come over you. What you need is a good talking to. We're going for a nice ride. We can get your mind on something more important than Dave. response to handling I'll have her broken in a week. After that, she's all yours, compliments of the broken wheel. Oh, Jim, that's the nicest present I've ever had. Oh, she's a darling. Joey, you and Fury kind of parted company, huh? He slid me off his back. 
Just so we could be near her. I can't understand this. Well, poets have been trying for centuries. Suppose you just wash up and come in to supper, huh? One of Miss Helen's specials? Blueberry pie, Joey. <laughs> oh, boy! As soon as I get furious, feed. slouch of a cook myself, but I sure got to take a back seat to Miss Helen. Boy, what blueberry pie. Hey, Joey? Yeah, sure. You still worrying about Fury? A big sap. Wouldn't eat his supper. <laughs> you won't either the first time you fall in love. Love? Hope it never hits me if it makes you that goofy. Fury's still kicking up his heels over his new gal friend? Yeah, they'll keep that up all night. Maybe I better put the mayor out of sight in the little pen back of the barn. No, I'll let them sing to each other. No harm done. <laughs> Come and get your coffee. Okay. All by yourself. Take it easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna slip this all over. Piece of sugar. Come and get it. Okay, lady. Just for that, I'm gonna get rid of you for good. Joey, what are you doing in here? How did that mare escape? She didn't escape. I let her out. You what? She was getting fury all upset. Off his feet and everything. I tried to put her in that other pen, but she wouldn't let me catch her. So I opened the gate and let her out. Joey, I've warned you before not to go in a corral where there's a wild horse. I know, Jim, but I couldn't stand fury acting like that. Well, because of your childish jealousy, I've lost a fine horse that I've been trying for a long time to catch. And what's more, that horse was a present for Miss Helen. Gee, Jim, I didn't know that. Well, you know it now. Now, you go on up to bed. And until further notice, you're not to go near Fury or any other horse on this ranch. Yes, Jim. I'm sorry this had to happen while you were here, Helen. Don't worry about me, Jim. It's poor Joey's tangled up feelings I'm thinking about. Look, Helen, I couldn't care more for Joey if he were my own son. But I can't agree with you that an act of, of deliberate disobedience should go unpunished. No, Jim. Joey started to punish himself the moment he drove that mare out the gate. Right now, he's a very remorseful little boy with a long night ahead of him. All right. Well, explain to me what came over him tonight. Well, it's really very simple, Jim. Joey's merely going through a stage of, of fierce possessiveness towards everything that comes his way lately. 
Fury and the rest of us, we've made up his whole new wonderful world. We've given him his, his first feeling of security, of, of having something very precious all his own. And he is very jealous of anything or anyone who threatens that security. <laughs> you make him sound like an old prospector who sits guarding his claim with a rifle. <laughs> well, that's exactly what he is. Now, uh, with your permission, I'd like to go and try to convince him that no one's going to jump his claim. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You win. Joey, are you asleep? No, just thinking. I'm awful sorry about your horse, Miss Helen. I know you are. That's why I came up to say goodnight and tell you there's nothing to worry about. I don't know what came over me. I do. You were afraid of sort of losing a very special friend. But, Joey, did you ever think that there's room in people's hearts for lots of friendships? All at the same time? Well, of course. You and Jim and Fury and the White Mare and Pete and me, too. We can all be friends with, with no jealousies and no favorites. Gee, hadn't thought of it that way. Do you think Jim will ever forgive me for what I did tonight? It's all forgiven. I saw to that. And I don't have to stay away from Fury? Well, I don't think so, but I'll ask Jim if I can't come over tomorrow morning and pick you and Fury up, and we'll go for a nice gallop and, and meet Jim over at my place for breakfast. We'll have waffles and country sausages. Gee, Miss Helen, you sure are swell. Well, thank you, Joey. Now, here, you have a good night's sleep. Yes, ma'am. And don't you worry about that white mare, Miss Helen. Fury and me will catch her. Hmm? I mean, Fury and I. That's better. I know you will, Joey. Now, good night. Good night, Miss Helen. <laughs> Never mind, Fury. We'll get your girlfriend back in the morning. We got her. From the cellar. Miss Helen. Good morning, Pete. Keeping that date with your new young beau, huh? Yes, but he's not in his room. Have you seen him? Why, no, ma'am. Uh, reckon I'm still asleep. I didn't notice Fury was gone, either. Oh, I know what Joey's doing. He's trying to get that mare back. Well, what do you know, the little... Say, hey, Miss Helen, that ain't good. I better roust out Jim. Why? Well, some of the boys was telling me only yesterday there's a fighting fool of a pinto stallion in that wild herd the white mare come from. Oh, Pete, you don't think Joy will be in any danger? Well, you never can tell what'll happen in a horse fight. Oh, you better wake up, Jim. Yeah. what I did last night. You forgive me, don't you? Well, don't you? Miss Helen did. That's great, Fury. From now on, we're all gonna be great friends. Now, you keep that white mare from stampeding while I get a rope on her. Come on now, help me round her up. Well, come on! Ah! 
It's only me. This time I'm gonna do it right, lady. Sorry about scaring you away last night, but I'll make it up to you. There's a whole bucket of oats waiting for you. You're coming back with me, because Miss Helen wants you. Stop her, Fury! I was all wrong about you, and Fury, too. Jerry? Sure, I'm all right. Thanks to Fury. Wow. See the way he whipped that pinto stallion? Six ways from Sunday. Got your mare back, Miss Helen. Just like Fury and I said we would. Thank you, Jerry. But you shouldn't have taken such a chance coming out here all alone. Fury was with me. Call that being alone? You'll be saddled, broke Miss Ellen. I can hardly wait, Joe. It'll be the nicest present I ever had. Well, it's a present that Joe will be giving with pleasure. And Fury's kind permission. Reckon you're right, Jim. His eyes ain't green anymore. They've turned brown. That's country talk, Miss Ellen. Mean I'm not jealous of Fury or anybody. Ever again. Ah! <laughs> 